Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games and do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you, you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below. Leave a like and subscribe with the notifications on. Right, until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi. Flaps of a butterfly wings always bring consequence. As the storm is moments away from a wasting Akea Bay, Mass knows he has to make a choice. Koi knows it too, but neither can bring themselves to say the words. There's too much t left unsaid, but no time left to get everything out. Chloe or the bay. Her best friend, Pirate Captain Bluebeard, partner in time, crime, first love, or the blood of thousands on her hands. Chloe looks at her, pleading, desperate as he yells there's no other way. But Mask can't accept it. She's the reason things got so fucked up. Sure, saving Chloe had started the chain reaction, but it was all because of her stupid fucking powers that couldn't save anyone when it mattered. Not Waisel, buried in a sour grave when she deserved so, so much more better. Not Kate, laying in a hospital bed even though the hospital will be destroyed alongside the town. Not Victoria. Even if she's still in massive bits. Not Joyce, who Chloe's begs for Matt to save. Not a single good fucking thing has come from her control over time. So, Chloe treated death more times than either can count, but none of that matters now. Chloe or the Bay, an impossible choice. But Mass Crawford can't do it, so she smiles, looks at Chloe in the eyes, and makes a promise she can't keep. Time slows, stops, halting at her command. She will rush death and hop through Polaroids, but there has to be something more. Do it is. All she needs is a little purse. The storm is just because of her gift. Because she fucked around with time and found out the hard way. An impossible choice. Chloe or the bay. The bread of one or thousands. Matt takes a breath. Sound wing what she knows will be the Silver Wing what she knows will be the last chance to be this close to Chloe to the end of time. Even with crime frozen, she has to leave now before she Loses her will, and his mask does so. So he takes a breath, calls upon time itself, and erases herself from a distance. She sees every moment that yet to happen, happening now and already happen. She sees every point in time on a loop. She sees the universe end and begin again. Her parents never have children. Or end up divorced. She sees Gibbs, Mark Gibson and Nathan Prescott continue to kill victim after victim. She sees the pain die into an, in an infinite number of ways. She sees Rachel Amber and Corey Price go up together and meet for the first time in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, or at work. Sometimes they never meet. She sees the pale leave Akea Bay for the last time or die too young, too old. She sees Kate, <coughs> see Kate drop again and again and again and again and again and again. So many times it's sickening. No one sticks up for her in the eponent timelines. 
Mass call field is detached from, outside of time and existence. But Toyo is always a bit, no matter what timeline. So Mass can recite everything she does from memory by now. Koi dies, then she doesn't. Kate dies, then she doesn't. Victoria dies, then she doesn't. Dana dies, then she doesn't. Toyo dies, then she doesn't. Joyce dies, then she doesn't. Rachel dies, then she doesn't. Koi dies, then she doesn't. Koi dies, then she die doesn't. Koi dies, then she doesn't. Courtney dies, then she doesn't. William dies, then he doesn't. David dies, then he doesn't. Lynn dies, then she doesn't. Wyatt dies, then he doesn't. Koi dies, then she doesn't. Juliet dies, then she does it. Alyssa dies, then she does. <laughs> Alyssa dies. Freak dies, then he doesn't. Then she does it. Shamu dies, then he does it. Koi dies, then she does it. Everyone dies. Every again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Time starts, stops. Ends, begins, again and again, on a loop. She sees everything and nothing in the same instant. Sometimes she's a butterfly, puts on the open window sill of Chloe's bedroom, as she and Rachel talk the hours away. Sometimes she's a deals, pulsing her way through the woods to the lighthouse. A Chloe holds, holds a missing person poster to her chest and sobs. Sometimes sees nothing. At all times, Mass Caulfield doesn't exist. Sees no one, nobody, nothing, and everything. Something, but not nobody. Not someone. Her mind breaks and rebuilds time and time again. But she's like a passenger, first to walk from the outside working in. She tells herself it worth it if it means saving Chloe. And it is. But it isn't. But it is. Because, after all, she got time to come to terms with, with everything. Hi, hi everyone. This is Emma 2000 again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, you know, I, I really did enjoy making it. But. So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time. Bye.